This video will show you how to convert a Strava ride into a route that you can follow on Strava or on Komoot. To be able to do this you will need a registered account with Strava and should you wish to follow the steps using the Komoot app then you will also need a registered account with Komoot as well. You will need to do the steps that I'm showing you in this video on your computer um, because it's not possible to at this stage to do what I'm going to show you on the phone app. Now first of all why would you want to do this? So you might have completed a ride and recorded it on Strava and wish to do that ride again and have the map in front of you that you can follow. You may also have seen a ride that a friend of yours has done either on social media, they've shared the route with you or you've seen it on your activity feed and you thought wow that looks like a really nice ride and I would like to also do that ride again. So what you will need is the URL link for the ride that you wish to convert. If the ride link has been shared to you um, on WhatsApp or email or whatever, or somebody sent it to you, then you will have a website address that you can put into your browser and then be able to complete the steps I'm going to follow you. I'm going to show you. If not, then if you can open up your Strava account and click on Dashboard and then Activity Feed. If you click on there, you will then be able to see all the rides that your friend has done, your friends have done. And then once you have found the ride that you wish to follow again, click on that and then in this address bar will be the website address that you need. Okay, so I already have my website address or the link to the ride that has been sent to me on a WhatsApp group. So I'm going to show you what to do from there. So I have my route link here and I've just selected that and I am going to press Control and C to copy that. I'm going to go to my Strava window and I'm going to copy and paste that link into there. And this is the lovely route that I want to do again. So now to convert this into a route that I can follow what I'm going to do is go to the left hand side where there's this button with three dots, click on that and select create route. And Strava has created that route for me. I now have um, the option to change the name of the route. I'm going to leave that as it is but sometimes you will see a ride that you want to do that's just been recorded as lunch ride, for example, or morning ride. So if you want to change the name to something a bit more meaningful, you can do that there. Now, here there is an option for edit route that is currently only available for subscribers only. So we're going to leave that. Because so everything I'm going to show you is every, uh, functions that you can do on the free version of Strava. So we're going to click save to my routes. This is now saved in my profile and I can now access that on my phone. Okay, so you're now looking at my um, app on my phone and I'm going to show you where to find the route that we have just created. So on my Strava app, the bottom, I have a series of options. I'm going to click on profile. I'm now going to scroll down and I'm going to select Roots. 
and there is the root that we just created. Now if I wanted to use that root now then I would just click on use root. That would then bring up the normal recording section of Strava. I'll click start and then it will then show me the route that I can follow as I go. Okay, so we've now completed um, the creation of a route on Strava that we've taken from a ride so that we can follow that route on Strava. There are a couple of limitations with that. The first one is that the Strava app does not give you audible directions. That may be fine for some people, um, but for other people, that's what they want from a cycling navigation tool. The second is that the Strava app does not move with you as you ride at present. Perhaps they're going to change that in the future, but at the moment it doesn't move with you as you ride. So as soon as you say this is the section that you can see on screen whilst you're riding, as soon as you get to here, your screen would still be showing here. So you would then need to swipe the screen across to get it to show you the next section of the ride. Um, so to avoid those limitations, you can complete the next step which is to convert the Strava route that we've created into a route that you can follow on an app called Komoot, which does give you audible directions and also will move with you as you ride. Okay, so the first step we need to do is we need to export the GPX file, which is this button here. So I'm going to click on that. That now appears in my downloads folder or at the bottom of my screen as you can see here. Okay, so I'm now going to go to Komoot and which I've logged in already here. I'm going to click on this plus button on the top right hand screen and I'm going to select import a GPS file. If you can't see the download file on the bottom left of your screen then you can select upload file here and find the file within your computer. However, because I can see the file here, I'm just going to drag and drop that over here. Okay, so I'm now going to select import to plan a route and click next. I'm going to change this to be bike touring for the sport type and I'm going to click next. I'm going to say that I want to stick to the original route. If I ch choose the other option, then Komoot may change certain aspects of my route, um, which I don't want it to do in this case. So we're going to stick to the original route. We're going to click Save Tour. As I mentioned before, you can change the name of the route on Strava. You can also change it on Komoot. So we can do that here, but we don't need to. So I'm going to click Got It. And here is the route that we have just created. Okay, so you're now looking at the Komoot app on my phone and I'm going to show you how to find the route that we've just created. So at the bottom of the screen, you have a series of options. If you click on profile, it brings up the screen that you can see in front of you. And I'm going to select within the tours menu, I'm going to click planned. And it isn't there just yet let's try and refresh it okay so there we go there's the route um so i can click on wetlands and this is the route now to use that route immediately i would just click navigation and it would then enable me to use this particular ride to cycle around okay i'm now going to show you how to build a route from scratch on Komoot. This is something you can't do on Strava anymore. It's been removed from the free version of Strava and is now only available to subscribers. Um, but there were limitations on how Strava worked in this way anyway. So we are going to do this on Komoot. So this is when I um, don't have a specific route planned, but I know where I want to start from and where I want to go to. So you want to use the route planner, which is on the top left of the screen. And this works very similar on the app, so um, 
you can also do this on the app. Um, so this brings up this screen. So I'm now going to select my starting point as Lloyd Park. I've typed that in and then I find the correct Lloyd Park, which is this one. And then my destination is Leighton Jubilee Park. That's that one. You can also use postcodes if you want to. Now, this is the route that it has come up with. The two ways that you can adapt the route. First one is to play around with the sport type on the left hand side um, of the screen. So if I change road cycling, so I've just clicked on sport and I'm going to change the sport type from road cycling to hiking. That's adapted it a little bit. Let's see if I select bike touring. It's adapted it a tiny bit. What about mountain biking? So this isn't really adapting it a huge amount. What about running? Gravel riding? Okay, so sometimes selecting the sport type or playing around with that can really give you quite a few different route options. In this case, it hasn't, um, but it's worth playing around with that to see what happens. Now, as it hasn't in this case, I'm going to use the second method of adapting the route, um, which is to add waypoints. So I'm just going to zoom in here and drag the map down. And zoom in again, and I'm going to show you how to add a waypoint. So I want to go through Churchill and Church Lane. So I'm going to find the bit on the map that I want to go to click on it and select include on route and that's now rediverted a whole chunk of the route. I'm just going to scroll down just so you can see and let's zoom out a little bit you can see it's now rediverted a whole section of the route and you can continue to do that you can continue to add waypoints um, to adapt your route as necessary. If you add a waypoint by accident so say for example I added one here and I realized actually I don't want to go that way or I did it by accident because I clicked wrong. You just select the number that you can see on screen and click remove. Okay, so I've now built my route. I'm going to save the tour and we're going to call it Lloyd Park to Jubilee Park. And there we go. That is my completed route on Commute that I have built from scratch. And early on in the video, I showed you how to find a route that you have built on your phone within Commute, and it's the same series of steps that you follow here. Okay, I hope you found this useful, and um, I hope it enables you to build and um, find and follow routes on Strava and Commute to. Um, hopefully have some really nice cycle rides.